Welcome everybody to the Fan Snap Capture 2 Gimbal uh, review. Uh, this is a real world uh, review of this gimbal. If you want this to see this gimbal uh, function, uh, check my channel and uh, you can see an unboxing video which includes all of uh, this uh, gimbal structures, functions, menu and everything else. So, without further ado, let's start the review. So this is the walk mod and it's pretty smooth. Uh, there is no stabilization in the phone. You can make it get a little better by tilting the gimbal forward. Uh, but overall, it's pretty good result. Uh, one of the uh, nicer features of this gimbal is the slow panning and you can get a real smooth uh, footage out of this gimbal. As you can see there is also a fast panning option. and a uh, sport mode. Uh, the sport mode and this gimbal let you, uh, the gimbal react faster to your uh, movement for a more uh, dynamic uh, situation uh, footage. The face tracking on this gimbal uh, works pretty fine long as your uh, exposure is uh, good and it does a good job tracking your uh, face. There also an object tracking and as long as the object is pretty good, big and uh, well exposed uh, it follows it uh, as well. A new feature on this gimbal and this price range of gimbals is the FPV uh, mode which lets you tilt the picture like you see in this example. And you have uh, in the app you have three options of time lapse, hyperlapse and motion time lapse. The motion tile lapse is very, very nice. You can see the example here and you can change it by your uh, settings. Also, there is a freeway uh, panorama, so you can get a 180 panorama. You can get a 320 panorama and you can get a nine uh, shot panorama, horizontal and vertical. As you can see, everything is automatically. And uh, in the end, the uh, stitching is done and you get this kind of result, which is very nice. Nice option. This gimbal has a zoom option. It's pretty jumpy in the start, but uh, you can lock it if you want to. maybe it'll get better in the future. So what I think about this gimbal? First of all, it's a very nice gimbal, very good value for money for this price. Um, also, the motion is very smooth and nice. You get a nice app. Uh, it carries 280 grams uh, phone and it got a 320 swivel uh, range. Uh, what I would uh, improve in this gimbal? Not much. First of all, the uh, app doesn't have a 60 uh, FPS option of recording. Uh, it's a shame because this app is really nice. Uh, also, if you have a thicker phone, 
you could have a problem. I have a OnePlus 6, which is uh, not a thin phone, and I have to uh, put a thin case. Uh, most uh, phones with no uh, case will fit anyhow. And that's all. Uh, if you like this uh, review, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you are intend to purchase this gimbal, please use my links uh, below. And that's all. Uh, so I'll see you next in the next video. Bye for now. Have fun. Bye.